What's going on, everybody? What's going on? It's your boy Grayson. I'm back with another video. Got a couple things I want to talk about. Start off with the elephant in the room. The Destiny Beta went live this week. First on PS4 Monday. And then it went live Tuesday for the Xbox community. Xbox One, which is what I am playing on. Which is what I reserved it for. Xbox, the mighty Xbox, especially being the Xbox One X is coming out. I can't wait to play this game. And uh, first off, give my first off impressions. Um, I only played the. I haven't even finished it yet because I've been working so much. I, I go home, play it a little bit, go to sleep. Uh, I'm playing the story part of the uh, beta, and I, I gotta say, right off the gate, uh. I was a little worried that they won't, that it wasn't going to look much better than Destiny 1. But right off the gate, man, it looks, uh, looks better. It's, uh, definitely an upgrade now. Is it earth shattering? No, but you can definitely tell they put a little more polishing on it. Uh, way more effects, potables, the guns, uh, the environmental effects, uh, the sound. The game looks good, man. It looks good. It looks good. It definitely got me hyped because I love the first Destiny. I just got burnt out. Uh, the guys I played with, they all backed out as well. So I found myself getting in with a lot of randoms. And, you know, just as about a week with friends and people you play with or know. Uh, yeah, it looks good, man. Um, It plays good. Yeah, 30 frames, which I'm not, a, I'm not too worried about 30 frames over 60 frames. Me personally, 30 can run. I'm good with it. It plays like how Gears of War uh, 4, Gears of War Ultimate plays in the campaign and stuff at 30. That's a smooth, good, buttery 30. And uh, and of course, they were able to give the visuals, tight visuals without sacrificing for the frame break. And I would love to see it do more on the Pro and uh, on the Xbox One X, but you know, that's a bunch. But, uh, like I said, the gameplay is good. It's Destiny. Um, now, if you're not a big fan of Destiny, I don't think this one will pull you in. Uh, but if you love the first one, you're definitely going to love this one because it's the first one so far and polished. It's spit shot. And uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, a back. Probably going to get it on the PS4 later on, like I did for the original one. But I'm definitely getting it on the Xbox One first. Uh, son plays it so I buy it digital he gets a copy I get a copy so that's that and then uh, of course like I said I'm getting the Xbox One X so uh, I already play most of my games on the Xbox anyway so that was the X coming I'm definitely playing the 90% of the multiplayer on the X best console the best control best internet the speaker. hands down he never made it and uh I'm going to look uh, for him. Get what everybody else say. It, it has new like cool. games. The, the Xbox is it, for the retards. Well, I guess I'm a fucking retard. There's the dude that looks like the hamster on the Kia Soul commercial. But anyway, getting back to the gaming news, gaming stuff that I like to Probably talk about. To Destiny 2 Beta's fine. Uh, Oh, it's free for everybody today, Friday. So I would say, uh, whether whatever you want, PlayStation, Xbox, get it, play it, give it, a, give it a chance. Uh, now moving on. Um, I guess the next big thing I touched on in my last video a little bit, I did briefly. Kingdom Hearts Three officially confirmed Xbox One uh, to be coming out on. And we knew this about a year ago, like I said earlier, but you know, died out, got quiet. But you know, this game been teased for coming out for the last two to three years. Make some more get quiet, make more get quiet. Well, it's coming out for Xbox, and uh, like I said, these, these PlayStation fanboys are ridiculous. Y'all bash certain gamers when they found out that Xbox games were going to PC. Y'all bash them and call us weirdos and cults and all this and that. Now you're doing the same thing for Kingdom Hearts, getting mad. Uh, 
Some say they start a petition, but I, I see people comment that they post some other videos about Kingdom Hearts. Talking about, uh, ain't nobody gonna buy it on the Xbox One. Uh, yes, we are. We're gonna play that game on the Xbox. My wife is a huge Kingdom Hearts fan. She PS2 to be the death of Kingdom Hearts. And uh, I said, it's coming to Xbox. She said, well, we I'm gonna get it on the Xbox. Why? Because she do the love the Xbox. She loves the Xbox. So that's one game. We're definitely getting it on the Xbox. So this, I guess, is thick gaming. Yeah. Comment on my comment. Come on, some no one, no true fan is gonna play it on the Xbox. Well, I tell you what, that real podcast, y'all, y'all, that means that shit. But anyway, so yeah, Kingdom Heart is coming. Man. We don't know. Uh, might be next year. Might be three more years out. But it is definitely coming to the Xbox. So hold your breath. Now moving on. Uh, so everybody likes Doom. Uh, I enjoyed it. I didn't finish it, but I didn't care too much for the multiplayer. Like uh, certain games, I like multiplayer. Halo, Gears of War, Call of Duty. That's just about it. As far as the multiplayer goes. Um, I'm playing uh, Killing Floor on the PS4 right now, that's pretty cool. So, you know, but uh, apparently for the people who bought Doom and held out for the DLC and the season pass, apparently the last patch they releasing 666. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's unlocking everything for free. So, that's how I got it, I ain't finished it, but... That might make me uh, want to go back and reinstall it now and finish the game and actually maybe try the multiplayer. Now, since everything is unlocked, everything is free. So, as long as you're ranking up and leveling up your character, you get different weapons now. Little, little loot cases or whatever. So, I might go back in and give it a try this weekend. So, somebody got Doom or haven't bought it yet. Don't sell now. I think it's like 20 bucks. And then you get everything free. Go, go pick it up. It, is, it was fun game. It, it was fun. It was uh, cracked speed. So that gave you light and quick. So uh, uh, it's an adrenaline rush. Go pick it up. What else is there to talk about that I, since I have done a long video in a while, but I said to talk, so I might be all over the place. But uh, as usual, um, the hate for the Xbox One X is real. <laughs> no gamers intended. They uh, got people talking about it's pointless. Come on, the X uh, only does everything the S does. Yeah, it does everything the S does, and it does it better. And I hate when people co compare it to PC, but I'm going to use a PC comparison. And you can go out and you can build yourself a, a moderate to an average PC to run your games fine, 60, oh, 1080p, and, and you'll do it fairly cheap, around seven, eight hundred bucks. Or you could do like most people who claim they got these super rigs. They build their PCs to be quote quote future proof. They have the extra horsepower, so when Two, three years later down the line, games get more demanding instead of having to rush out and upgrade again. They already got it. That is what the Xbox One X is doing. Yeah, it's running everything now and everything to be coming out in the next two to three years. It's going to run it fine. Just like the S is going to run it fine. But it's going to run right, it Guardian. better on the X. And is. as technology goes forth and eventually the standard PS4 and the standard uh, Xbox One and One S can't handle it. The X, if you chose to get it, will already have the extra power there to be utilized. So they have to now go run out and buy a $500 console at that, that point. With everything we got. So that is the purpose of the Xbox One X. You frauds out there. The X is definitely going to sell. Now, is it going to outsell the S? Probably not. But most people are going to look at it, they're going to they're gonna see it's still an Xbox. It's give you 4K Ultra Blu-ray player. 
still had the best online, the best control. So the average mom and pop band for their kids, they're going to go with the S. That's like on the PlayStation side. The average mom and pop, they see the pro, but they see the PlayStation Slim, they're going to go to the Slim. But for us adults that work, us hardcore gamers out there that have their own money, that is what these consoles are going to be for, and we are going to buy them. Let me have that console. This argument that I don't have a 4K TV, and when I gotta spend, well, eventually you are going to have to get one. And just like HD came out and phased out the standard TVs, 4K is gonna be the new standard eventually. Sooner or later, you're gonna get one. I got a 4K TV two years ago. I wish I waited, but that's me. But I'm still getting another TV when I get the Xbox One X because I want HDR and all the goodies. So, TVs is not an excuse for it. 4K TVs are cheap as shit. I paid uh, over a thousand for mine, around 1500 You can get them now for five, six hundred bucks. Might not be top of the line, but it will get you in the door in 4K. So, all you frauds out there using that as a reason to hit on that spot. Stop. And of course it goes back to the the Xbox has no games when they clearly gave us over 16 exclusives in the first two years, two and a half years. But Sony literally had jack shit. The one said that. So yeah, it's a little slow now. You you can't keep pumping out exclusives over and over. Sony hit that stride their last two years of their of this cycle. So yes, they pumping out games now, but. As we see now, the uh, top three games, uh, they hit the uh, top three MPD. Whoa, shocker. Multi-platform games. Horizon Zero Yawn didn't even make it. Nier Automata didn't even make it. Persona 5 didn't even make it in the top 10. Grand Theft Auto still in there. Madden 2K. FIFA, come on, get with it, y'all. Call of Duty, Battlefield. That's all right. Y'all stick with this. It don't have no games. I'm playing games. I'm playing a game right now. I'm playing games all day long on the Xbox. I get if you truly don't like Microsoft, then just why I don't like Microsoft. Like I don't really care for Sony. So, but I, I buy their consoles because I like a few of their games. But if I had to pick one console, it will definitely be the Xbox. I will take Halo and Gears over anything on the Sony and Nintendo platform. Which brings me to Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. I ain't even waste my time looking at that Nintendo app. All that bullshit. You got to have hooked up to your damn junk. Just a party jacket. And set up appointments to play game. Now, Nintendo, all that ill. As they say, that that you lost for them, and people started crying. That's why I say you can't take certain people serious with their game chops. They quick to bash the Xbox, praise Sony, but then in the same breath they cry why Nintendo can't do the shit they bash the Xbox. They call it the Xbox the Netflix box, the YouTube box, but then getting mad the Nintendo Switch can't even do Netflix. Nintendo can hold that L. I mean, I got a Switch. I got a more few choice games. I mean, because I'm a gamer. I'm going to get it. But it is what it is. Exactly. Uh, like I said, we definitely know it won't survive without multi -plats. And as we see, none of them are coming there. They get SmackDown. But everybody knows you're playing SmackDown on the Xbox and PlayStation before you buy it on the Switch. I know I am. I'm definitely buying an Xbox. It is what it is. But uh, a game can survive with less exclusives than, a, than another console, but it cannot survive without these multi platforms. Anyway, it's your boy, Ray Simmons. I'm out. If you like what I'm saying, hit that like button, share, and subscribe. I'm out.